In this episode, we're going to take a look at an issue with the Zoom F6 in terms of its line level, and we'll also talk about a workaround. I want to be clear, first of all, as we get started, this is not a roast of Zoom. I think the Zoom F6 is a fantastic product. It does have one problem, and there is a workaround. First of all, some samples so you can hear what the problem is. In this sample here, we have the Rode NTG3 that's running into the Zoom F6. The Zoom F6 is outputting the audio to the Panasonic GH5S. The Panasonic GH5S input socket is set to microphone level, and we had to reduce the output level on the line out for the F6 down to minus 45 or so. And that was to get the levels calibrated between the two of them. This is what this sounds like, just so you're aware. Okay, in this sample here, we're running into the NTG3. That's going to the Zoom F6. The Zoom F6 is coming line out at zero dB on the output level into the Panasonic GH5S. And the Panasonic GH5S has its input set to line level as opposed to microphone level. And this is what this sounds like so that you get a sense. Now, good news, there is a workaround for the issue. And what we're doing here is we have an attenuator cable coming from the line out of the Zoom F6, coming into the mic input on the GH5S. And I have the GH5S set to microphone level. And when I did this with the attenuator cable, the attenuator cable pulls the level down by 35 dB. So that's good. What that meant is that I could set the line out of the Zoom F6 to minus 16.5 dB, and I set the input level on the Panasonic GH5S to minus 12, which is its lowest setting. When I do that, this is the result that you get. Now, you will hear some fan noise, which is actual noise in the room coming from this light right here, which is maybe a meter and a half away from me, maybe two meters. So to summarize, the problem with the Zoom F6's line out is that when you're using a camera that has a microphone only input and you're sending audio out of the line output from the Zoom F6 into your camera, you have to reduce the output level from the Zoom F6 so that it is microphone level instead of line level. Line level is a much stronger signal than microphone level. So when you do that, you have to reduce the output fader by about 45 dB in my tests. The problem is, is when you do that, you get this horrible, hissy, buzzing noise. And version 1.5 of the firmware was supposed to fix that. In my test, it just changed the character of the noise a little bit. It didn't solve the problem. But what can you do to solve the problem? You can use a minus 35 dB attenuator cable, and that seems to help. In fact, what we're recording with here right now is the Zoom F6 with the audio feeding out of the line output with an attenuator cable, minus 35 dB, and I'll put a link for the cable down below into the Panasonic GH5S set to microphone level. The GH5S is set to minus 12 on its input level, which is its lowest setting. And then we also had to still drop the output level on the Zoom F6 by minus 16.5 dB. When you do this, you get an overall practical noise floor, again, with our light here that has a fan in it, another light back there with a fan in it, in our fairly controlled kind of household basement <laughs> recording studio, if you will. And we're getting a practical noise floor. It's around minus 68.5 dB after we normalize the dialogue up to minus 23 LUFS. So overall, I think that's an acceptable level. It's definitely something that's workable. So I wanted you all to know about this. I missed this in my review originally that I did last year. And the reason I missed it is that I used the Panasonic GH5S and I set the input level on that input socket to line level. So Again, with line level, it's not a problem. So any of you that are working with a GH5S, no problem. Set the camera to line level and you're good to go. It also works with a pocket cinema camera 6K and 4K because you can set those to line level as well. But if you're working with any other consumer grade camera that has a 3.5 millimeter microphone only input, then that's when you're gonna to wanna to use an attenuator cable like this. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you've not already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video.